today, learners, today we're going to talk about central angles. So what is a central angle? Central angles are angles formed by any two radii in a circle whose vertex is the center of the circle. I have here an example of a central angle. So this is circle P. Again, we can name a circle using its center. So since yung center niya is P, so we call this one as circle P. Okay, so by definition, gaya ng uh, binanggit ko kanina, yung central angle daw ay binubuo ng dalawang radius. So yung first na radius natin would be AP or PA. Or line segment AP. Yung pangalawa naman na, na radius would be BP. Okay. The long radius na ito ay nag-meet sa center, which is point P, and they have formed a central angle. We have, to, we have to remember that the central angle is an angle whose vertex is the center of the circle. So, yung vertex natin dito would be point P. So, yung central angle natin would be angle A, P, B. Okay. Again, yung vertex niya, ay nasa center, which is point P. Okay. So, we can have also angle B, P, A. Same lang sila na central angle. And we also have the term called intercepted arc. So, what is an intercepted arc? Intercepted arcs are arcs formed when two different chords or line segments cut across a circle and meet at a common point called Vertex. In this case, yung intercepted arc natin Intercepted arc Ay yung arc A B Okay Arc A B So kung mapapansin natin yung intercepted arc Ay kaharap lang ng ating angle Okay If this is our central angle Then yung na-intercept ng central angle natin na points na point A and point B that forms our intercepted arc. Okay? Again, yung intercepted arc natin is arc AB or arc BA. Now, we have also what we call the central angle theorem. It states that the degree measurement of the central angle is equal to the degree measurement of its intercepted Arc. Therefore, if the measurement of arc AB is equal to 80 degrees, suppose this is 80 degrees, itong arc na ito, arc AB, it follows that the measurement of our central angle APB is also equal to 80 degrees. Let's have more examples. So, suppose we have circle B and its diameter is already given. The diameter would be DC or DC, line segment DC. So, we're, what we're going to look for is all the central angles. Tapos, kukunin din natin yung degree measure ng central angles. At the same time, kukunin natin yung respective intercepted arcs ng given central angle. And the degree, measure, the degree measurement of the intercepted arcs as well. Okay, let's start. Suppose we have central angle, let's start with this one, ABC. So, yung angle ABC, given na rin yung degree measurement niya. So, the first central angle that we have would be angle ABC. So, based sa ating illustration, it is 105 degrees. So, ilalagay natin dito 105 degrees. So, if we are referring to the central angle ABC, ano kaya yung intercepted arc niya? So, kung ito yung central angle niya, yung intercepted arc niya ay yung magkabilang dulo na points. Okay? Therefore, the intercepted arc is arc AC. Okay? So, mapapansin niyo yung uh, intercepted arc ay kaharap lang ng kanyang central angle. So, we have here R A C. So based sa theorem natin, it states that the central angle or the degree measurement of the central angle is just equal to its intercepted arc. So since yung degree measurement ng central angle natin is 105 degrees, 
it follows na yung degree measurement naman ng intercepted arc AC is also equal to 105 degrees. Okay. How about this arc or this central angle? So, we have central angle A, B, D. This one here. A, B, D. So, ano kaya yung magiging uh, degree measurement ng angle A, B, D? We all know that this is a semicircle, right? So, yung angle A, B, C at saka angle A, B, D are supplementary angles. So, when we say supplementary angles, yung sum nila is equal to 180 degrees. So, again, yung measurement ni angle A, B, C ni angle A, B, C ay supplementary lang sa measurement ni angle A, B, D which is that is equal to 180 degrees. So, since yung angle ABC natin given na 105 degrees, kukunin na lang natin si angle ABD. Okay? Transpose natin si 105 sa kabila. So, it will become angle ABD is equal to 180 degrees minus 105 degrees. Okay? So, ang measurement ni angle ABD would be 180 minus 105 that is equal to that would be equal to 75 degrees. So, ibig sabihin, ang degree measurement nito would be 75 degrees. Now, how about yung intercepted arc ni angle ABD? So, yung ABD natin, yung intercepted arc niya is yung kaharap, yung uh, part ng circle na nakat ng central angle. So, ito yung tatandaan natin, yung endpoints lang. Okay? Tapos yung endpoints, dun sa labas, uh, we can form an arc, right? So, we have arc AD or DA. So, arc DA, pwede rin natin siyang tawagin arc AD. Okay? So, since 75 degrees yung central angle niya, it follows na yung intercepted arc is also 75 degrees. Now it's your turn. Try to answer the following questions. And that's a wrap. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Sir Nino. And you can also post your math problems in the comment section. And we will do our very best to provide solution to your questions. Because remember, every problem has a solution. At kung math ang problema ninyo, ako ang kagapay ninyo, ako ang Sir Nino.